Hi everybody, uh, I am Ildi Konyari and because some people ask me how did I do uh, the Christmas video or in general creating some effects on videos, here and I made some, uh, I made a short explanation of the production. It is very easy and quick to produce it. This Christmas video was all done in about two hours from editing the green screen and uh, my own Christmas tree section and editing and uploading uh, to YouTube. Um, first of all, I am using from Cyberlink the Director Suite 365 program, which is a package of the video editing software together with photo, audio and color editing software. So Here in the software opens up and this is the Christmas tree video file. You can see all the clips uh, used in this production on the timeline and uh, also all the effects that were used in this video. Here I'm just jumping onto the timeline to show you different snapshots from the video at that specific timeline. Some Christmas tree shots are from my own tree. Of course I used a green screen. Uh, here you can see green screen video clip. And I show you how this green screen video was adjusted for use. So let's move this clip to the end of this video. So this is the green screen recording. And I just show you what I'm using for green screen. This is an Elgato Chroma Cree screen that can be pulled up from the hat case. It is retractable and very convenient to use anytime. So this is the green screen file and we need to remove the background so in the tools select PIP the picture in picture select chroma key and pick up the color you want to pick up or you want to remove uh, as you see by moving the pencil the color to pick up is changing but you want to pick up the green so the greens has to be selected but there are also different greens and you can adjust it by changing the range of the green color and the noise of the color and you can pick up the second and third color too in case you need more color to remove or a finer range this is an easy and quick background removal it is not perfect because you can see the green falls off at the edges uh, we would have to stabilize the green screen clip after this, but for a quick production, you could skip that step. Uh, this is not perfect, but good enough for an easy project. So now the background is removed and to see how it looks look like, how, uh, let's move this clip onto the second layer and put a background image on the first layer. So for this background image, let's copy and paste the clip from the original video. But I will show you later where I got this clip from. This is from the Shutterstock gallery, but I also use my own Christmas tree recording. Okay, so let's move myself from the center to a corner in order to have the Christmas tree more visible. You can select the green screen file, it becomes blue. And then you see the video clip borders on the screen that you can move with the mouse and you can adjust the size too. Okay, so let's see how the video runs now. Okay, if you want to add effects to this video, for example, the Christmas greetings I used on my video, let's find that or select any other uh, effect from the tools. We are now in the media room. Below is the actual projects you are working on now and below is the text tool and then the transition. You can select what type of transition uh, you want to use to move from one clip to another and below is the effect room. You can use many different effects on the video from style to color and blending and others and below is the overlays. You can place overlays on the video, example frames, sketches, actions, so on. Uh, so here are just some examples of uh, overlays and below is the particles. 
where you can add particles to your video. The last is a quick editing uh, room instead of using the audio director for more perfect audio editing. Okay, so we want to use the Christmas greetings particle effect and here it is, our Christmas greetings particles. You select it and move it onto the timeline where you want to use it. Here I place it on the third layer and this is how the video look like now. I can move the effect a bit away to see how my body language affects the video image. In case you want to add more effect, example this Christmas tree I used in my original video, this one, then it works the same way. So find the effect from the tools. So let's find this one. So this is in the particles again and it is in the holiday pack. Here are a lot of different particles and there it is. And select it and move it onto the timeline. So this is how the video will look like. So if you want to add text, for example, in the, in the text tools, you can find many different types. In the text tools, you can find many different types. Let's find the one I used in the video, which is a holiday tax. You can find here many different packages uh, and styles for text. So here are just examples of different uh, text styles. Okay, so here it is. This is what I used. And again, select it and move it to the timeline. If you double click on this text clip, you can adjust many parameters of this text clip. You can move the text anywhere in the video. You can change the writing, change the font type, the font color, or you can add border or add text background and so on. So let's make a few changes.
and this is how it looks like now in the video. Okay, so this was the original clip in the tools. This is how the original look like. And this is how we changed it into our new video. Okay, so now if you want to duplicate or multiply yourself or anything from the green screen, you can select the green screen, it becomes blue and go to the timeline where you want to make the cut. You right click on the mouse and select split. So let's place it underneath on the third layer. Now you can see that you have two green screen files at certain times. And one covers the other. So you can move the selected frame on the screen. So let's move it to the right side. And now this is how the video runs. And here comes, comes the Christmas tree effect in the video. Uh, you can split the green screen file too. So let's split this and move it. So in this case, the text writing can be read uh, and it is not covered by the second person. So now let's find uh, some other type of backgrounds for a green screen. Uh, you can search Shutterstock or you can use your own image or your own video or any other image file from your computer or your own Christmas tree video recording that I used. So let's find something from Shutterstock. We want to have a video clip because here are some uh, music and uh, photo images also and search Christmas. Let's check how this clip, this clip look alike. Good, so you can download it. Here it is. and you move it onto the timeline. Okay, so let's place it onto the first layer to be a background and everything else on the second and third layer will be above it. And this is how the video runs now. So now I just want to show you that the first layer is the true background and the second is the green screen where we remove the background and the third layer becomes a full background. But if you want to have only a portion of this image, you select the clip so it becomes blue and move the frame on the screen. So now that background image is smaller, is a smaller frame.
if you prefer keeping the full background and let's say with the Christmas tree effect we can move this clip around the timeline on, on the timeline and make that red background full screen size so make it full so move the frame up and you have a complete red snowflake video clip background And then uh, comes the Christmas tree effect. Okay, so if we want to add, let's say, the Christmas greeting effect as well to this video section, uh, you remember the Christmas greeting effect? You can copy that effect uh, clip to this timeline onto the fourth layer and here you go uh, this is the new video section and we did not select any audio yet I have used an audio clip uh, on my original video uh, that I had to duplicate because it was short uh, and that video, then that audio clip was downloaded from the YouTube uh, audio library. But you can also find some uh, background music and sound clips on Shutterstock by searching or using your own music files. You can import a music file from your computer or the internet. and on each layer you can select whether you want to keep the sound of those clips placed on those layers if it is checked marked it will be heard if it is unchecked it will be silent or muted Okay, so now let's remove all the files we played around with uh, after my original Christmas video because it was just for explanation and we won't use it. So I can shorten the timeline for an easy selection. So select these files and right click and remove and fill all and remove the last piece too. So now we have the original movie or the original or, or the one we want to keep and this, this is how it looks like. And you could, also, you could also select any color for background from the color board or for a colored full screen to write on. And of course to get the background music or sound clip by searching. So this
this was the explanation how a video editing is, is made uh, by using my Christmas video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and found it uh, useful for your own editing. And I wish you a happy new year. And bye now.